Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. So, capital P is 3z minus 4y. Capital Q is 4x minus 2z and capital R is 2y minus 3x. To get the solution, we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. Now, substituting, we get dx by 3z minus 4y and here it is dy by 4x minus 2z which is equal to dz by 2y minus 3x. Now we are going to use the Lagrange's multiplier. So using Lagrange's multiplier as x, y and z. So already we have dx by, so we have to multiply with both numerator and denominator with x. This becomes 3xz minus 4xy. The same way, the second term we have to multiply with y. So y dy by 4xy minus 2zy. This is z dz by 2yz minus 3xz. Now using the ratio property, we are going to add all the numerators. So x dx plus y dy plus z dz whole division. We have to add all these terms. So 3xz minus 4xy plus 4xy minus 2zy plus 2yz minus 3xz and this is 3xz minus 3xz and 4xy positive negative 2yz positive negative can cancel finally the denominator is 0 now we can take any two terms from this let's take the last two terms and we are going to integrate this one we can leave the multiplier the original term is dz by 2y minus 3x the original term is dz by 2y minus 3x and on the other side it is x dx plus y dy plus z dz whole division 0. Now this entire term is cross multiplied with this 0. So other side is totally 0. So we left with x dx plus y dy plus z dz equal to 0 and on integration we get x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 equal to 0 and that is an integration constant c1. Taking LCM we get a common denominator 2 and that is carried to the other side so it is 2c1 which we shall take it as a constant a. Now we have to choose the another set of multipliers before that let us copy this dx by 3z minus 4y which is equal to dy by 4x minus 2z that is equal to dz by 2y minus 3x. y minus 3x. Now we have to choose the another set of multiplier and let us see the factors of these numbers 4, 3, 12 and this is 4 into 2. 
which is 8 and this is 2 into 3, 6. So, LCM for this 12, 8 and 6, that is the least common multiple is 24. So, to get 24, this 12 should be multiplied with 2, 8 should be multiplied with 3, 6 should be multiplied with 4. So, these are the multipliers I am choosing so that it is possible to simplify further using the Lagrange's multiplier using the Lagrange's multiplier 2, 3 and 4. So, the first term is 2 into dx division when I multiply it 2 it is 6z minus 8y. In second term we have to multiply it 3. So, 3 dy this is 12x minus 6z. Then the last term we have to multiply it 4. So, 4 dz this is 8y minus 12x. Now, adding all the numerator and denominator and writing it as a new ratio, it is 2dx plus 3dy plus 4dz whole division. Denominator is 6z minus 8y plus 12x minus 6z plus 8y minus 12x. Now, we can find positive and negative terms getting cancelled. So, we left with 0 in the denominator. Once again, we can choose any two terms. Let us choose the last two terms. And we can leave the multiplier for the last one. So, it is dz or we can take along with the multiplier. Does not matter. So, 4 dz into 8y minus 12x equal to 2dx plus 3dy plus 4dz whole division 0 and by cross multiplication this entire term is multiplied with 0 and finally the terms remaining is 2dx plus 3dy plus 4dz equal to 0 and on integration on the both the sides this is 2x plus 3y plus 4 is equal to 0 and there is an integration constant c2 which we shall name it as b since we have named already a here it is b now using this we can go for writing the general solution and the general solution is in the form of f of a comma b equal to 0 so it is f of a is x square plus y square plus z square comma and b is 2x plus 3y plus 4z equal to 0. This is the required general solution for the given partial differential equation using the Lagrange's multiplier method.